if you want to take care of the ball better, become a better playmaker. These are soccer passing drills you can do by yourself. Best tool for training on your own, especially passing, shooting, is a wall. So here I have a wall. It's gonna be my partner. He's gonna pass the ball back to me every time. He's never gonna get tired. And I'm gonna do a bunch of different drills that you can use to improve your passing skills. First, let's just play two touch. Okay, so everything we talked about, good passing technique, body over the ball, open up the foot, playing with both feet. The only other thing I would focus on here when you're doing this is this first touch. Okay, because if I wanna play two touch, if I wanna play two touch, and that ball sticks in my feet here, it's difficult to play two touch. It's difficult to get a good pass, the pass that you want. So focus on the quality of this first touch. Not so far that you lose control of it. Not so weak and so close that you can't play quickly, but just out of your feet so you can touch, quickly pass, quickly step into it. Okay, the other thing I want you to notice with all these is, it's on the toes. It's not flat footed like this. If you practice like this, you play like this. So when you're doing these drills, focus on the quality, the sharpness of movement. Always on the toes, quick to react, because if there is a bad pass, I can quickly get there, set my feet, play that pass. Okay, so start two touch. Next, you can go into playing two touch in different ways. Let's play same foot as I've been doing. Same foot, okay, get 50 reps on your right, 50 reps on your left, good technique. When you're doing this, focus on one spot on the wall, hit that spot every time. Play two feet, so receive left, receive right, or pass right, receive left, pass right. Good quality on every pass. Then you can receive into space. Okay, so don't always stop the ball dead, especially in a game, if I always stop it here, I'm easy to defend. Attack with your first touch. Get away from the defender with your first touch. So into space, play your pass. Into space, play your pass. Be creative, different techniques, play your pass. Good. You can play one touch. Okay, so again, on the toes, focus on quality. When you're playing one touch, the contact point, the focus on the contact point becomes even more important. So you can see when I'm hitting these passes, I'm over the ball, but a lot of people hit their pass and they're not even looking at the ball. They're already looking at the target. Yes, you wanna have your head up, but when it's time to make contact, find the center of the ball if you wanna make it go straight and actually watch your foot to the center of the ball so you make good contact, okay? But play one touch and sharpness of the feet, playing with both feet. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy inside the foot. If I ever don't like my technique, say I had a bad pass on my left, I'm not just gonna go back to my right. I'm gonna come back to my left. I might get an extra 10. Really tighten it up until I'm happy with that technique. Then I'll move forward. Okay, you can play half turn as we did. Better touch than that. Half turn as we did in a midfielder drill. Okay, focus on receiving, but the quality of your pass is still there. Then you can play distances. So play right here, quick on the toes. The harder you pass it, the faster it's gonna come back. Practice passing from different distances. Okay, and even coming way back here, you can start slow, but build up to it. You can play like a driven pass. It's 
driven pass with the laces ping on the ground you can play in the air but i would just start practicing playing a driven pass on the ground good and the one that we didn't talk about was that outside of the foot okay so practice start here touch across the body better touch than that outside the foot around the defender curl it around the defender around the corner to your teammate little through ball into space but first of all when you're doing this one I'll, I'll ask my I'll ask grown men to do this in practice they can't figure it out if I want to play with the outside of my foot this touch has to come across my body if I'm receiving the ball here and I want to play outside the foot that's not what I'm asking you to do there's no point really in doing that in a game okay so if you want to play outside the foot take a touch across your body and step step into it if you're struggling on this one it's usually because your ankle flexion isn't strong enough your foot technique isn't strong enough so really don't hit it uh, with a weak link weak limp ankle and don't hit it back here okay flex get over it step through it flex step through it so those are some soccer passing drills you can do by yourself if you like this content check out the soccer success planner you can download it for free there's a link in the description below and for advanced training check out the online soccer academy if you like this content check out the soccer success planner you can download it for free there's a link in the description below and for advanced training check out the online soccer academy